Hey Ryan, what's going on, man? What's the this shit, buddy? Entering dark zone. <clears throat> So, I need to get going. Rogue soldier, what's going on? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Sorry everybody, I started off in the uh, dark zone. And obviously we don't want to be in the dark zone, so I gotta try and start myself up over here. Yes, I'm on PC right now. <clears throat> I usually do my division uh, vendor restocks on the division on the on PC because you fast travel faster on PC, so it allows me to make the videos and do this quickly. So again, everybody who tunes in, I will be doing. I am recording my division video as well as doing the live stream. So uh, I will be doing commentary for the video as well as doing uh, you know the, the normal. Uh, the normal stuff. So, let me get right into it and let's get this. Need that premium vendor? What do you need from the premium vendor? Put it on here. Flipping skins? That one's kind of cool. That one. I guess there's some cool ones here. Yeah. Not much in here. See you around. Alright. Hey everybody, DST Ghost here, back with another Division Vendor restock video. Uh, today it is 8 11 17. Uh, again, I will start in the open world and the safe room, and then I will go into the dark zone checkpoints and then the dark zone check uh, safe rooms. So, Let's get right into it. Special blueprint vendor. We have a military M9, an SESG 12, uh, stamina or whatever kind of holster, uh, stamina knee pads, a rifle suppressor, MK scope, and I mean that's pretty much it. Firearms gear mod. Electronic gear mod, and that's it. Special equipment vendor. We have a pecan with skill, determined pecan. We have a liberator with brutal, swift, and accurate. Centurion with expert and intense. A Cassidy with predatory and capable. Historian with vicious and talented M45 with expert and skilled. We have an SMG9, commanding, talented, and self preserved. ACR, self preserved, or uh, yeah, self preserved, dominant and unforgiving. M870 with deadly, brutal, competent. This is a nice military M870. Pick this sucker up. Uh, roll off deadly for responsive. Then you got responsive, brutal, and competent on there. Pick this sucker up. Very nice. Uh, M700, toxic, talented, elevated. RPK, sustained, swift, and deadly. Uh, tenacious mask, ours is disorient. Uh, we have a reckless chest piece, health, health on kill, increase kill XP. Tactician's vest, health, skill haste, ammo capacity. Pick this up. The rolls on here for armor is pretty low. Roll off stamina for arms or electronics. Uh, we have health, skill haste, and ammo capacity already rolled on here. So I would actually deal with the low armor just to get that perfect roll if you need one. Relentless backpack. Uh, Lone Star backpack. Don't really need it. We got a ninja bike coming up Tuesday. 
Final measure backpack. Don't need it. Ninja Bike Tuesday. Don't need this. Ninja Bike Tuesday plus defense getting nerfed to high heaven. Uh, we also have a prosperous knee pad. We have sentry call knee pads. We have nomad knee pads. Uh, predator mark knee pads. Nimble holster. Not a bad striker holster if you need one. Reclaimer. Dead eye. Absolute gloves. Absolute garbage. Hunter's faith. Firecrest. Not too shabby for this one. Firearms roll is low. Alpha bridge. Uh, not a bad Banshee Gloves. You have SMG, Crit Chance, and Skill Haste already on it. Roll off electronics for your firearms or, or electronics. Uh, and, you know, it might be pretty good. You have an electronics mod rolled, Crit Chance, and a mobile cover health. No big deal. See you around. Alright, everybody. So, as I'm going through each vendor, I will be, um... I'm, I'm also recording my video to post later on, so you can ask questions in the chat, and as I'm moving from place to place, I will answer them. So the blueprint was an M9. Uh, it was an M9 and an SAS G12. Advanced Weapon Vendor, Rhino with Expert and Meticulous, Converted USC with Brutal Responsive Ambusher, G36, Responsive, Prepared, and Focus, M870, self preferred Meticulous, and Dominant, the one of the base in the uh, Special Gear Vendor is a lot better. We have an M1A, Brutal, Competent, Balanced, and M249, Skilled, Talented, Determined. We have a magazine that's pretty bad. We have a suppressor that's pretty bad. We got a grip that is also not bad. And we have a holographic sight that's pretty garbage. Yeah, the blueprints suck, Hitman, but the M870 that is in the special equipment vendor is beautiful. Nobody's got a better sword. Dark Zone Gear Vendor. We have an M44, Harmful, Swift, Determined, Gunslinger Holster, Steadfast, uh, Farms Mod, Rolled Health, and a Holographic Sight. That's pretty bad. Hey, don't get yourself killed, you hear me? All right, I'm getting back. Base of Operations Weapon Vendor. We have an AUG with Hurried, Commanding, and Ferocious. And a Grip with Accuracy, Stability, and Reload Speed. Base of Operations Gear Vendor, we have an Inventive Backpack. And we have an Electronics Mod, Rolled All Resistance. See you later. Welcome to the stream, everybody. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in chat. So far, the best thing that I've seen is an M870 and Special Equipment Vendor. It's rolled deadly, brutal, competent. You can roll off deadly, four responsive, and you got yourself a really nice M870. Hey, yo. Let's make a deal. Look at this selection. Camp Hudson Weapon Vendor. M700 Toxic Cool Headed Elevated. And a reflex scope rolled crit chance action and headshot damage. See you again. Camp Hudson Gear Vendor. We have an enduring mask. And we have a smart cover damage resilience mod. Maybe next time, huh?
Readings indicate this area is safe. That's here for the streets, right here. Meat locker weapon vendor. We have a PP-19 swift commanding hurried. And a hand stop, reload speed stability, and crit damage. Don't worry. Kerman Station Weapon Vendor. We have an advanced AUG with determined response and meticulous. Then we need a cob scope with accuracy, crit chance, and headshot damage. And I thought we were gonna The Cavern Gear Vendor. We have a rehabilitated mask with health not killing disorient resistance. And we have a sticky bomb explosion radius performance mod. Plenty of my business. So far, no damage to elite purple mods. Dante's Run Gear Vendor, Sturdy Holster, and a Secret Mine Explosion Radius Performance Mod. See you around. Best gear for the streets, right here. Wolf's Den Weapon Vendor, M700 with uh, intense, talented, and elevated, and a small RDS scope, stability, headshot, and accuracy. Sorry you didn't see me. What's going on everybody? Welcome to the stream. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the chat. And once I am done saying what's in the current place that I'm at, I will answer them. Timo, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Hey, I got what you need. Anything catch your eye? Autumn's Hope Gear Vendor. We have a relentless backpack. And a stamina mod rolled health. Okay, I can. Timo, what's up? Uh, just, you know, doing the vendor reset. How are you doing? So, not really a week, huh? Uh, a very nice M870 so far. <clears throat> yeah, a really nice M870 currently. How's the audio sound, everybody? Is the audio all right? Just want to make sure that we're not having any kind of feedback or anything like that. Where am I? Crypt. Hey, gotta see it to believe. Feast your eyes on Manhattan's best selection. Yep, in the base. That's pretty much the, the only good thing right now. The Crypt Weapon Vendor. Please MK17. Dominant, competent, proficient. Flash hider, accuracy, crit chance, and optimal range. No worries. Come yeah, but that's that's pretty much the only thing I've seen that's good so far. Uh, nothing else is really worth it currently. <clears throat> yeah. 
pretty much uh, batting a thousand here. Firewall gear vendor. We have prosperous knee pads. And we have a stamina mod rolled skill haste. Don't worry, it happens. What's going on everybody? Welcome to the stream. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the chat. And once I'm done talking at whatever place I am at, I will answer your questions as far as what I've seen and whatever else you ask. What you looking for, huh? Top of the line goods, right here. Grindhouse weapon vendor. We have a double barrel sawed off with vicious, determined, and ferocious. Small RDS scope with stability, headshot damage, and optimal range. Uh, John Vega. <laughs> yeah, I know I do. I have to catch up one of these days. I, I don't really put a lot of time into my PC character. I spend most of my time on the division on uh, uh, PS4. I, I play I play the game, John. I play it on PS4. I play it a lot on PS4. I'm a very good player on PS4. Southpaw Gear Vendor. We have Absolute Gloves. And we have a Performance Mod with Pulse Duration. Yeah, John, I, I play a lot on P, uh, PS4, so my PC character really isn't leveled up as much. I got it to 30. I did my missions. I'm opening up my uh, base of operations currently, but that's pretty much all I've gotten so far. The Ward Gear Vendor. We have a refresh mask with skill power and disorient resistance. And a performance mod with Ballistic Shield health. Now this is a pick up. I would 110% pick this up with the nerf coming to uh, the shield and the D3 build. Now you're losing your health. So as many of these that you could put on your gear would be perfect. So I would pick these up. I would definitely pick these up. Here we go. The Ward Gear Vendor. We also have a Damage to Elite uh, Electronics Mod. So, if you need an Electronics Mod for uh, Damage to Elite, here you go, right here. The Ward Gear Vendor. Nerf is only PvP? No, you are wrong, John. The nerf is not only going to be for PvP. Do you think that having less health while going up in a legendary mission is going to be good? Because it sure is not. Uh, that nerf is not just a PvP nerf. That is 110% a PvE nerf as well. I would like to see anybody who used a D3 build to go hop into uh, Clear Sky with the nerfed one and you're going to see that it is nowhere near as viable as the older set. The nerf affects PvP and PvE so I would definitely pick up those health mods uh, if you're going to use a D3 build because that will definitely help you out. 
last call. You won't find better anywhere. Last call weapon vendor. We have an ACR, destructive, ferocious, and, or uh, sorry, destructive, focused, and vicious. And it's a suppressor with crit chance, stability, and optimal range. Maybe you could buy some. Madison stand gear vendor. We have prosperous knee pads and we have a performance model with pulse duration. I'll be here if you change your mind. That wraps it up, guys. Now we're going to go into the dark zone checkpoints. So, uh, not much yet. If you have any questions, Morning. again, everybody, leave them right in the, safe the area. chat, and I will answer whatever I can, whenever I can. Finders keepers. Fifth Ab, Dark Zone, Checkpoint Vendor. We have a SOCOM MK20, Swift, Ferocious, and uh, Disciplined. Spec Op Gloves, Absolute. Skill Hades, Enemy Armor Damage, Shotgun Damage. Uh, stamina Mod with Health. And a Magazine with Crit Chance, Real Speed, and Rate of Fire. You need a tenacious mask with skill power and firearms. Uh, nope. Haven't seen it. What are you waiting for? Don't ask for West 31st Street. We have an M9 with expert and dominant. We have accomplished knee pads. We have a firearms mod rolled skill power. If you need a firearms mod with skill power, pick this one up right here. Pretty good. And a magazine, crit chance, crit damage, and rate of fire. I'll be waiting. Yeah, see, so I've read it. It's pretty bad. It, that that nerf came out of like left field, and it this should have never ever happened. The D three was perfectly fine. Uh, I don't want to name. Blueprints was an M nine and SESG twelve. West thirty fourth Street. We have a double barrel assault off. Trained, swift, ferocious. We have an inventive backpack. We have an electronics mod, rolled health, and we have a holographic sight, optimal range, accurate, and headshot damage. That's fine. Someone. They need a nerf to, out of a healing bag. You think the dark zone's a joke? Stop. West 39th Street. We have a vector, brutal, skilled, capable. Inventive backpack again. Performance mod with Seeker Mind damage, which is going to be garbage. And a hand stop, real speed, stability, and accuracy. Adoy? You're dead. Yeah, I don't know. They, they're all. This one just said you're dead. West 42nd, 8K74, Dominant, Destructive, Swift, uh, Sturdy Holster, Performance Mod, First Aid Ally Heal, and a Magazine, Crit Chance, Crit Damage, and Raid Fire. I don't think the Healing Bag is too OP. I mean, the, the six piece Reclaimer is going to be crazy. You. But, you know, push. the odds of getting that is going to be pretty slim. And it's not out yet, so they still have time to fix that. West 46th Street, M700, trained, competent, elevated. 
Uh, we have Prosperous Knee Pads. Electronics Mod, All Resistance. And a Muzzle, Crit Damage, Crit Chance Stability. Sooner or later. West 53rd Street, M870, self-preserved, predatory, swift, one of the bases better, uh, technical backpack, performance mod with ballistic shield damage, and stability, accurate, and headshot on this muzzle. Welcome to the stream, everybody. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the chat. And once I'm done describing whatever from the uh, vendor or wherever I'm at, I will answer your question. East 64th Street. We have a firearms mod with skill power and a performance mod with pulse duration. That's fine. East 61st Street. We have a uh, magazine, crit chance, mag size, and crit damage. We have stability. Uh, crit chance and headshot damage on the muzzle. Grip is stability, accuracy, and optimal range. And we have a scope with stability, headshot damage, and crit chance. What you think you Vincent Wilson, welcome to the stream, buddy. How are you doing? What were the blueprints? The boss. Blueprints hey, were uh, M9 and SASG-12. East 58th Street gear vendor, we have an Enduring Mask, a Forceful Chest Piece, a Specialized Backpack, not bad if you need one, you can pick this one up if you need a Specialized Backpack, Prosperous Knee Pads, Tactical Steadfast Holster, and we have Absolute Gloves again. Thanks for nothing. I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, blueprints weren't that great, the boss, but there is a very nice M870, deadly, brutal, competent in the special equipment vendor. Take a look at your Park Ave weapon vendor. We have an M9 with expert and dominant. We have an SMG9, predatory, hurried, and swift. MK16, swift, sustained, and skilled. M er, Super 90, uh, trained, predatory, swift. We have a SCAR with capable, sustained, and proficient, and an L86 with unforgiving, accurate, and sustained. Don't ask where East 53rd Street, we have a Lavoa with predatory, deadly, and competent. Definitely a Laveau to pick up. If you don't already have it, roll off Predatory. You have Deadly, Competent, put Responsive on this sucker. If you don't have Lavoa, pick it up. Right over here, East 53rd. Uh, we have a Nimble Holster. Don't pick that up. Holy crap, don't pick that up. Uh, farms mod with Health. And a Grip with Accuracy, Crit Damage, and Optimal Range. I'm Invigato, uh, what is good the weekends? Uh, M870 in the special equipment vendor in the base of operations. Uh, pretty good level right there. And uh, some shield health mods, stuff like that. Pretty much all that I've seen so far that's worth it. This is what you need. East 46th Street, PP19, vicious, accurate, hurried. Operating knee pads accomplished. Firearms mod with uh, signature ability resource gain, and then a 3.4 times scope, crit damage accuracy, and headshot damage. You're not gonna find them.
Hey, get your ass over here. East 42nd Street, we have M1A, sustained, commanding, unforgiving, spec op, prosperous knee pads, uh, performance mod with secret mind damage, and a grip with accuracy, reload speed, and crit damage. I was hoping for... Pretty much wasting my grip. Okay. Every week, it's the same thing. East 40th, we have a double barrel shotgun, accurate, capable, and self-preserved. We have a tactical mess, refreshed, skill power, and burn, performance mod, support station duration, and a hollow sight, crit chance, headshot, and stability. Now, don't forget, everybody, the best way to get the gear you're looking for is to play last stand with a group of four, leave the match, Group back up, open your caches, and trade with each other. East 34th Street, we have a Scar H, determined, prepared, cool headed. We have a technical backpack. We have a performance mod, ballistic shield health. Again, you can pick this one up as well. If you don't have uh, you know regular credits, you can use your Dark Zone credits. Pick up this ballistic shield health since you're going to need it with the nerf coming if you want to use a D3 build. And we have a magazine, uh, crit damage, max size, and redefire. Thanks for nothing, ass. Oh, excuse me. Four. East 31st Street, M1A, trained, ferocious, capable, tenacious mask, all resistance to blind and death. Supply drops will stamina expire. Stamina mod, rolled skill haze. Three. Beautiful Seconds. stamina mod. If you need a stamina mod, rolled skill haze, pick this one up. Uh, East 31st Street. Very nice. Uh, muzzle brake, stability, optimal range, and headshot damage right here. That's fine. Someone else will want this. That wraps it up for the Dark Zone checkpoints. I will now go and finish up in the DZ safe houses. Snake, trash week like you. Yo, Snake, what's going on, man? I haven't seen you forever. And yeah, it's a pr it's a pretty trash week, just like my dankness. My girlfriend just gave me the best there. <laughs> and then the finger. <laughs> Wesley Chrome Jr. Transmissions What's going jammed. On? What's Proximity on? coverage only. Backup activated. System rebooted. <laughs> Snake, what am I going to do when you get more on PS4, bro? I haven't seen it forever. Honestly, I don't see shoutouts, especially now when I'm doing a render uh, restart. My gameplay audio is louder than me. Yeah, I know. How about now? This should be alright. This should be better, actually. It's my time. Check, check, check. How about now? This should be alright. Check, 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 check. You've been on your PC? Well, why have you hit me up, dude? DZ2 Dark Zone Vendor. Uh, safe house. So we have a rehabilitated mask, crit damage and increased kill, a rapid chest piece, a technical backpack, te prosperous knee pads, operator steadfast holster, and absolute gloves. Stop wasting my time. Is there any firepower skill haste? Farm skill haste? No. Hold on. How's my audio now? Is it better? I changed some things around, Striker. It should be okay now. But then again, I, ha I wasn't really playing in the DZ, so. Uh, 
what's the best gear? Exile PvP. Uh, best gear for what? What are you looking for? You look like you need my help. DZ3 safe room. 93R expert and cool headed. PP19 skilled, comped, and hurried. Uh, LVOA with destructive, vicious, and competent. M870 sustained, capable, unforgiving. M700 uh, ferocious, competent, and elevated. And an MG5 adept, vicious, capable. DPS, I mean, there really isn't, I mean, so, all right, let's get something straight here. We have 1.7 coming out Tuesday, okay? Tuesday is the 1.7 drop, which means that uh, the Ninja Bike will be good. So if you have a Ninja Bike backpack, you're gonna wanna use the Ninja Bike backpack and what I think is gonna be the most hard hitting build is gonna be three Predator, uh, two Alpha. That's what I personally think is gonna be the hardest hitting DPS build. But again, you're gonna have to play around with it. I think it's gonna be three Predator, Ninja Bike, two Alpha. Or three Predator, three Predator, Ninja Bike, and two Banshee. That gives you the 10% out of cover and the 8% SMG or SAR of damage. Uh, Andrew Reyes, what's going on? Welcome to the stream, man. on uh, what we got for today's restock we have a really god roll m870 in the base of operations uh, it is deadly brutal competent roll off deadly for responsive and it's beautiful uh, we have um, some shield health mods with the nerf to the health on a d3 build uh, we have what else do we have Pretty much it. I mean, there really isn't much else worth getting, in my opinion. Where am I, DZ4? DZ4 safe room. We have exotic damage resilience electronics mod and a performance mod with sports station range. Can't wait to use your Sentry's Call Hunter Faith Ninja for the glow. Oh! Thank you very much, TD. I really appreciate that. I'm telling you, it's going to be the quickest way to farm a global event. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's built, just need to have it drop. Yeah, exactly. All my builds are ready to rock and roll. I was farming for the gear to make the builds. And uh, once once 1.7 hits, we'll be good. You have eight ninjas. Dang, I only have five. Where's the Lavoa? Shoot. The Lavoa was in... Let me check. Hang on. Damn. Let me check. Hang on. Lavoa was Lavoa was the ward, not the ward. No, no, no. Lavoa was East Thirty Fourth, I think. Or Park Ave. It was either Park Ave or East Thirty Fourth. Ah, uh, I don't remember. I have a real bad memory. DZ5 safe house. We have a magazine, crit chance for those people, magazine size. We have a suppressor with accuracy, stability, and crit chance. We have a hand stop with real speed, accuracy, and crit damage. And we have a 15 times scope, optimal range, 
uh, crit hit chance and stability. Come back when you're feeling up to it. And guys, I will be streaming all day when 1.7 drops. When 1.7 drops, I will be on all day. So if you like me doing the vendor restocks, go ahead and throw this video a like. Also, subscribe so you can get notifications as to when I will be streaming. But I will 110% be streaming 1.7 as soon as it drops. I will be on that. I'll be doing some global events, I'll be doing some PvP, I'll be using ninja bike builds, uh, I'm going to be making build videos, uh, I'll be doing all that stuff all throughout the day, trying to make as many videos and as many clips as possible. So if you want to see that, go ahead and like and subscribe so you get notifications. Don't forget to hit the bell when you subscribe to me or any other YouTuber, make sure you hit the bell so that you actually get the alerts when they start streaming. Have a last stand. Okay, so here's my opinion. I just had a conversation with somebody about it. Last stand is skewed. Is a season pass worth buying now? Yeah, I'd say so. I wouldn't pay full price for it. I'd pay a discounted price for it. Um, but I would say last stand skews your stats. So if I say something's going to be good for DPS or in the dark zone, it'll be great for last stand. Every build video I make is me in the DZ because the DZ is pure numbers and pure just your build is, is what it is. Last stand boosts some of your stats so your builds aren't really 100% correct. So, um, so you know, you want to uh, keep that in mind when you're making builds. Personally, I think the best build is going to be three predator to alpha or three predator to banshee with a ninja bike i think that's going to have the most damage output until you get the classified you don't know any pvp builds that's all i know dude i love pvp dz6 safe house dead eye mask dead eye chest alpha bridge backpack firecrest knee pads lone star holster not bad if you need a Lone Star, you pick this up. Roll off crit transfer skill A's. Not a bad Lone Star host if you need one. And Reclaimer Gloves. Uh, Vision. Got a new sub. Got a bail. Lunch break. Got a work over. Hey, man. Have a great rest of your shift at work. I hope to see you on some of my future streams, and I look forward to hearing how that build does you good in the 1.7 global event farming. Have a good rest of your work shift, man. I love PvP. It's the best. Uh, Vision. Uh, so far, you have... Um, you have... I say a lot of people in my turn of thought. Uh, a god roll M870 in the base of operations. You have a really nice Lavoa in, I believe it's Park Ave. Don't quote me. Warning. You are now entering a contaminated area. <laughs> Snake. <laughs> oh, now God. leaving the contaminated area. Such a freaking heckler. Area on stream, my friends are my biggest haters. <laughs> and the people who trash talk me the most. Guys, if you want to see really pure garbage videos, make sure you go click on Snake DST. Go check out his channel. Uh, he's got some pure garbage for you.
of overseas in East 53rd. There you go. Thank you very much, God of Games. East 53rd is the Lavoa. Completely forgot about that. I knew I called it out, but I forgot if it was in Park Ave or somewhere down the line. East 53rd, thank you very much, God of Games, for correcting me. <laughs> it's true, you'll get cancer confirmed. <laughs> What blueprints are available this week? You have a uh, M9 and a uh, SASG-12. DZ-8 safe room gear vendor. We have a rejuvenated mask. We have a rapid chest piece. We have a resourceful backpack. We have a prosperous knee pad. We have a gunslinger recovered holster. And we have an operator glove. If you buy that holster, shame on you. DZ8 safe room special vendor. We have a Predator Mark mask, rolled skill power, and increased kill XP. Pick this up if you don't have a nice Predator. This is a very nice mask. Skill power, high, almost high electronics, high armor. Just roll off, increased kill. Uh, we have a Dead Eye, chest piece, Nomad backpack, Reclaimer knee pads. Lone Star Holster, and we have Alpha Bridge Gloves. Uh, if you need Alpha Bridge Gloves, you can pick these up. Roll off enemy armor damage for a crit chance. Uh, the armor is mad low, but firearms is high. Everything else is rolled pretty good. That's fine. Someone else will want this. Nobody plays the game with me, so that's why I don't play. Well, Ryan, what do you play on? PC, PS4, Xbox, where are you at? Uh, 1.7 on Tuesday, yes. Well, Ryan, hit exclamation PS4, or PSN, rather. Exclamation PSN, get my PSN, sh send me a friend request, and, uh, and, uh, we'll try and link up. If you already have me on there, just refresh and tell me what your game, or your PSN is, and then uh, I'll try and, I'll try and play around with you a little bit, get you in some of my games. What's the best PvE gear set for those down to elite mods? Tactician, Striker, or Hexo? Well, with 1.7 coming out, I made a build video for uh, it is a uh, Sentry's Call and Hunter's, uh, not Hunter's Faith. Yeah, Sentry, Sentry's Call and Hunter's Faith with a ninja bike. Yeah, <laughs> it's player snake who on a D-ring. But it's Sentry's Call, it's Hunter Faith, ninja bike. I would personally use that if you're going to do a lot of PvE because it's constant one-shot headshots and with the damage to elite mods, it's going to be even better. Uh, but again, you can use damage to elite for any kind of build. Tactician, uh, Striker will work. Any build that you're doing PvE, putting those on will help. But I found that the best PvE build that I personally play with is going to be the Sentry's Calls, Sentry Call, Hunter's Faith, and Ninja Bike. Our Hexo build is going to be good. 1.7. They're going to be good until, I mean, until you get a Ninja Bike, Reese's. Ninja Bike is going to be the hands down best thing to run with. Hexo builds aren't going to do nothing. I mean, they will, but the damage output isn't going to be the same. DZ9 weapon mod safe room vendor. We have a magazine with 11% magazine size, crit damage, and rate of fire. We have a suppressor with headshot, crit damage, and crit chance. Pick this one up if you don't already have it. We have a vertical grip, optimal range, accuracy, and stability, and a four times scope, accuracy, headshot, and crit chance. Oh, I'm dying. DZ9 special vendor. Uh, Dead Eye mask. Firecrest chest. Final measure backpack. Final measure knee pads. Predator Mark holster. And striker gloves. Nothing really good here. And that wraps it up for the Division 8, 11, 17. Vendor restock video. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. I will leave uh, timestamps in the description to the things that I think are the best. Go ahead, like, subscribe, 
if you enjoyed the video and hope to see you guys on my stream. Thanks everybody and have a great night. Everybody on the stream, don't you worry. I'm gonna leave the stream up for another couple minutes. Go ahead, uh, you have a couple minutes to ask any kind of questions. I'm gonna leave it open to questions, question, questions. If you have any questions, go ahead and answer them now. I'm gonna go in this bathroom and take a nice hot, hot load. Let's see, what can I do? Gay. Why are you gay? Snake. Snake, snake, snake. Event detected below street level. Ninja bike only drop DD. No, uh, ninja bike will be in any exotic cache. They stopped dropping currently, but they will be in any kind, any exotic cache. Contamination level rising below street level. Uh, thank you. God of games, I appreciate that. Got to exercise. Yeah, I gotta percolate. I gotta get my percolating on. Hang on. Cool. Guys, if you have any, if you ever need to know the quickest way, it's not laxatives. It's percolate. Uh, PVP tonight. Yes, I will be PVPing tonight. Uh, are they gonna make a PVE Dark Zone soon? I hope not. It's a subject. What's the sixth talent in Dead Eye? Well, let's pull it up. Contamination level critical below strength level. Hang on, everybody. Let's see here. Relax, what's going on, man? Okay, let's see. Um, I'm going to do display capture instead of... There we go. Okie dokie. Er, we can see this. Here we go. So we have Striker, which is obviously the five piece is 10% stability and then 5% enemy armor damage. Six piece, they, yeah, oh, this is right. So 10% max health per second, bonuses further increase by 1%. Points are 1%. For every 2,000 stamina, stacks up to 100 hits. Bonus is reduced by 0.10% every second. Bonus can be removed by EMP. Final measure, 15% exotic damage resilience, 15% protection from elites. Uh, six is when a grenade defeats a player and all group members, 30 meters gain a buff based on the grenade type that was defeated. EMP and shock skill power is increased by 15% for 8 seconds. Uh, incendiary or a regular grenade, weapon damage increased by 15%. And then flashbang is 15% armor. Sentry call. Uh, NPC targets now get six marks. I don't really see the... I don't see this as a, as a good thing. This is not really that great. Uh, yeah, relaxing sounds good if I have a spot. Uh, Lone Star, obviously we know Lone Star is the um, 
Weapon has 25%. Once the weapon has half of 25% of its magazine remaining, there's a 50% chance to receive a bonus that activates when the final bullet is fired on the current magazine. Once activated and the magazine is instantly refilled, and then the weapon damage is increased by 15% and rate of fire is increased by 25%. It's basically like getting a mini tackling. Deadeye, here you go. The six piece. Deadeye gives you, when zoomed, getting a headshot kill with a marksman rifle will increase your crit hit damage by 20% every second to a maximum of 100% and will increase stability by 100%. Last for 10 seconds until no longer zoomed. So you have to be zoomed in. Okay, you have to stay zoomed in with your Deadeye. Then we have the Reclaimer. Obviously, Support Station gains 25% chance to have no cooldown. Uh, oh, never mind. Sorry. Uh, right here, 6. So you have 50% uh, Support Station Revive Time, 100% Healing Speed, and 100% Station Health. And that... That... Hostiles detected below street ...is board. your 6 pieces. That dead eye stinks. Pretty bad. That listen, if you think that dead eye is a good idea, that is very bad. Very true, Grim. Alright, any other questions? Any other questions, everybody? I'm gonna cut the stream, edit the video, post my video. Any other questions? Go ahead and forever hold your peace. I'll give you another minute. Questions, question, questions. Again, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead, throw it a like. And, uh... This is the shit you need. Oh, gosh. You know, this, this, this bitch always be talking to me. Staring at me, yo. See her? This die? bitch. This bitch who sells me stuff. I think she does. Look at her staring at me. Give me the dust there. Hmm. Yo, you haven't met my girlfriend. You're gonna get ripped. So you don't know my girlfriend, you're gonna get ripped. So, uh, who does green? I want to buy a last hand. I don't know if it. I don't know. If it deserves it. Yeah, I'd buy last stand. It's pretty fun. Good night, everybody. Good night, Daniel. Ghost, you got questions? Ugh, relaxing. Ronnie 2K. Sup. All right, everybody. If there's no more questions, I'm going to cut the stream. Uh, I will see everybody later on tonight. I'll be streaming again tonight, doing some PvP in the Dicky Z. So tune in for that. Uh, why taking across the road? I don't know why. But uh, go ahead and what's the best build for Last Stand? Uh, hybrid. Best build with MP7, Predator. But yeah, I'll be on tonight. So. Uh, so See you guys tonight. Thanks for hanging out. Go ahead, throw the video a like. And uh, don't forget to check out the video for the vendor restock I'll be posting really soon. Uh, yeah, we're going to be in the cheese factory tonight there, Grim. You know it. And what build I use in PvP right now? I'm using Predator a lot of the time. Predator or my high-end hybrid. Or exotic hybrid. Of course you did, Ronnie 2K. Of course you did. But, all right, thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, i got to make this video so I can get it out there. Uh, I will see everybody later tonight. Go ahead and hop on the stream tonight. Throw me all those questions, and I will see you all later.